better or worse, we're going to get to the fuel tank today. I just took four screws out of the top of this thing. Oh, wasp's nest and mice poop. That's good for the gas tank. What else have I got to remove to get to that? This metal bracket's got to go. Looks like two screws here. That's a huge tank. Good golly, Miss Molly. My drill bit ain't gonna fit in there. We have to use this ratchet. Ouch. Bang your head, Walter. Climb the boot, baby. Every time I get up there, I remember some other dang tool I need. I had to climb down. Up and down. Oh, there goes Walter. We're getting to the fuel tank. I got the cover off of it out there. Finding lots of rat droppings and leaves and crap that blowed up in the corner back there. Liable to find an alligator in here. If I can get myself over there without breaking my neck. Whew. Went to get me a cold drink of water on that trip. Don't go on it. My foot's in the way. I'd be better off to take that door off. That is one huge gas tank. Go in the basement and get a. I don't have a 3 8 extension two feet long, but I'm going to try to jam a concrete drill bit in there, turn them nuts out. Whew. Sometimes you got to use your imagination, but first we got to vacuum up all this dirt and crap. One thing I do got is imagination. Well, what would a yellow rope be doing in there? Question is any, I guess. You know what? I expect a rat toted that yellow rope up in there. You don't tell them what I'm going to find up in that hole. All right. I got 10 tool boxes around here and I went through every one of them from top to bottom just to find a 5 16 socket, 3 8 drive socket. Actually it's a quarter inch drive. Now the bolt I need to take out down in there, and no way I got enough extensions to reach that far. So let's take this socket. Break your camera, Walter. Stick this cement drill bit down in there. Oh, I better go get me some black tape, or I'm going to be trying to fish this thing out with my fingers.
the down ladder. Park our ass on the bench and rest a minute. All right, I'm gonna tape that right there, and providing that nut ain't too tight, I might be able to turn it. Hope tape it on there just so I don't have to fish her out of a hole. <laughs> oh, y'all needed to hear me sneeze. You know you did. I dirt up my nose. Alright, before I shut the camera off, let's put this, let's try one of them. My well, George, I'm on that one. And it's turning. Let's make sure the other one will turn before I take that all the way out. Fit my hand down there to get that one. My hand ain't going down there. Yeah, it will. I might not get it back out, but it'll go in there. Okay, that one's a loose. Gotta be loose. 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 Come on out of there, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Might not ever get it back, but it's out. George, we're going to get that fuel tank out of there. Fuel goes in over here. And they look like they're going to be hard to get off, but all we can do is try. Let's get this fuel line off first. This big hose that I'm pushing out of my way is a drain from the ice box. We got to go down the ladder again and get a pair of pliers. Doggone it. <clears throat> well, toot. Time to take a break. It has been a tussle to pull that fuel tank out of there. Now I can get to all that dirty carpet up in behind there and clean it. It looks like there's just a few gallons of gas left in here, but it smells awful. I figure some way to rinse this tank out. A new tank costs two or three hundred dollars. 
but I'm ready to slide it down off the bow lifter a couple hours of prying and poking Nasty, nasty gas tank. <laughs> 